Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Elden Ring video. Today we have an amazing shield to get after. This one can work just like the fingerprint shield, so if you can't get your hand on that one, the ant shield is going to be the one for you. So once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, in order for you to pick up this shield, and look, it's a good one. We need to make it all the way to Noxella, the city. Now, this thing, you should have a video pop right there. That is a video on how you can get to the deep root depths. And then from there, we're gonna travel to the Finger Reader Crone saving grace point right here in the deep root depths. And then we're gonna make our way right across, right over there, where there is a casket. Yep, you can kinda see it right over there. So here we are at the deep root depths at that Finger Reader saving grace point. And we're gonna make our way over to that lovely, lovely casket. Now. This is what you need to do. Basically, just hop in the casket. So, so long as you follow that video and you make it down here to the deep root depths, this is how you're gonna get to Noxella the city. You just basically need to hop on over here, hop inside of this lovely casket, and take that bad boy all the way down, and you will be in Noxella the city. So, let's do that. As we go down, we are up. And we're going to be in Anzo River. Now there is a saving grace point right over here where you can meet Ronnie if you're doing our quest line. So go ahead and do that. You pick up a little mini Ronnie statue. Here we are. We're going to basically follow the water all the way down to where it's going. It's going to take us to where we need to go. So let's do this. You cannot hop on your horseback. So you're going to have to do this on foot. Now right out the Yule Palace room, if it's your first time, there will be a large enemy right here. You can run past him. You know, so just keep that in mind. And there is a lot of items here. So if it's your very first time, you can wanna go ahead and pick up said items and then make your way down to Noxtella, where there is a ton of stuff for you to do down here. But there is a shield that is very, very close right by the saving grace point when we get to Noxtella. And that is what we're going to get after because it's a really good shield. And if you can't get the fingerprint shield, if you're not a parkour, this shield is going to be phenomenal for you, guaranteed. So this is how you're going to get it. Basically go up these stairs, hang a left. There's going to be an enemy right here. Take out this enemy like so. And right inside of this chest will be the shield that we're looking for. Let's have a look at it. The ant skull plate. Now this shield is amazing. You need a strength of 28 in order to wield the special ability shield bass. But what makes this special is that it excels at repelling enemies attacks. And it does, just like the fingerprint shield. Yep, I had no idea, but now you know, and I know, so let's try this bad boy out. We are right over here at the gate fronts, and we're using the shield bash, so you can check it out. We are against shielded enemies, which makes this a very good place to try out a lot of weapons and shields, just to see if they can break through the shields. Of course, these are lower ads, so it should do work. But as you can see, it is kind of hard to get kills when they are holding up their shells. Without it though, you still can get one shot kills and it does knock them back and break their poise so you can get in some attacks, which is cool. Now, if you time it right, you can get double kills with this shield, but it's all about the blocking ability. And oh boy, does it excel at blocking. Look, when you block and they attack, boom, at least the lower adds, you're gonna get that nice breakdown of poise and uh, yeah, it's working out really good, but that's lower half. I took it to the mountaintop to the giant to try this bad boy out to see how good it can repel these attacks. And like I said earlier, it's just like a fingerprint shield. Check out this. Bam, nothing, just stamina taken away. So in my opinion, when it comes to great shields, this is the second best great shield in the game, in my opinion. But this ant shield does exactly what it's supposed to do and it do it just like the fingerprint shield. It blocks all physical damage, which is fantastic. So if you can't get your park on, you can't get that fingerprint shield, I showed you where to pick this bad boy up. Get out there if you don't have it, add it to your collection and have some fun. But for right now, that's pretty much going to for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpool Game. Upload a wide variety of videos, ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one.